this is Sifu Cuddle, and for this video, we're gonna be working with the nunchucks. So grab your chucks, and let's get to work. Now, we're gonna be working with the nunchucks in the reverse position. So that means that the chain is gonna be closer to our pinky and our ring finger, and not so much our usual grip, where it's our thumb and our index finger that are guiding the nunchuck, okay? Now, for this one, I say get pretty close, as you know, almost as close as possible, because even if you've watched my other video, where we bring it over the top and we do the palm change here, you're gonna be grabbing pretty close right here anyway, so get comfortable with that. Now, this is something that, for me, I was inspired by Bruce Lee. He did this position actually quite a bit in his movies. He would change it over to this position. So it's always good to be versatile enough to use any section of the nunchuck, all right? Now, this is just gonna be a spin from side to side, and we're gonna go from one side of the body to the other side of the body. Now, anytime you're doing any kind of contact with the nunchuck, Wherever you touch the body, you want to get it closer to the chain as possible. The further away you go from the chain, the more you're actually going to just take it as a hit, like how the nunchuck is meant to be used as a weapon, rather than letting it roll off the surface. Okay, so if you let it touch closer to the chain, it's going to roll and the momentum and the, and the energy is going to travel out. Okay, so you won't take it as a strike so much. So, what I want you to do is hold the nunchuck, we're gonna keep it straight up and down, and then we're just gonna bring it from one side of the body to the other side of the body. This is all we have to do right here. Nice and easy. It's not even a full rotation, it's a half rotation. But you have to get comfortable maneuvering with the nunchuck underneath the elbows and then resting on the ribs. Now you can also practice like we've done earlier where you do a full reach out to the sides and then no contact to the body. So you kill that momentum and you actually control the weapon itself. That's a good one too. Now, we're gonna add to this though. We wanna make this fancy. So we're gonna take this and think of just drawing a circle and keeping this, you wanna try to keep this propeller flat. So just like if you were drawing a circle with this end of the nunchuck, we're gonna keep this out right here. Now, a little bit of a down, downward angle is fine because otherwise if it goes upward, you're gonna start hitting yourself. So a little bit downward is all right. Now as we do this, we need to extend from the, we need to extend out, otherwise we're gonna end up getting hit. So while you circle, keep it out in front of you here. And then what we're also going to do is just travel it across to one side. Now I would suggest in training this, taking it and actually moving it across very slowly and then move it across very slowly again. Because you get more repetitions, you have to control this a little bit more in moving across. You can't just hide it with speed. So that's something I suggest is training. But really, two spins is more than enough to go from side to side here. So we got one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, coming across this way. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now, once you get this down, it's very simple to integrate into every other part of your um, nunchuck spins and positions. But you will notice that as you do these, you're gonna have to modify things. Right away off the top, you notice the grip has to be modified. We're no longer controlling with the upper fingers, it's the below fingers. So as you do that, you, you have to take into other small things into account. So whatever you wanna do, you can spin it on the side, get back to the armpit, and then change the grip over from there. What I would suggest is, if you wanna do a pass from this position, if we're this close, it's very tough to bring it over to get into a good position here. So if you can get it back to the armpit, slide the hand out a little bit, and then it can come up and over, that's when you can grab it. But I rarely do that. I usually just end up coming back and then returning over and then going back into another spin, okay? But have fun with this one, work on it, check out all the other videos in the Nunchuck playlist, and be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys subscribe and check out my Patreon. I have a lot of Kung Fu applications from my Kung Fu combos and techniques that have shown on my channel before, but these are applications that go more in depth and they actually teach you what you're doing in the technique. If you have any questions, drop me a comment or send me an email. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, all the above, and keep working out. Till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bam! Fizz with a bow out. Thank <laughs> you.